Hi, I'm Tab Pig with Vet Tech, and you're watching Two Minutes with Tab. Okay, what we're going to do today is a little bit different sole guard pour. Uh, Pat does this on a lot of his endurance horses, horses that are wearing boots. Basically what he's going to do is he's going to go in, he's going to show us how to prep his foot. He's going to pour the pad before he trims it. What that's going to do is allow more space for that pad to be a little bit thicker. If we trim the foot down to where it would be normally, our pad's going to be even thinner. So what we'll do is, or what Pat will do is leave that extension that hoof wall extended up, pour his pad, mold it, and then give it a quick trim. So I'm gonna let Pat get to work on this guy and show you how he does these. All right, when we do a sole pour that uh, we'll do before we trim the foot, first thing I wanna do is clean the foot out, make sure we got it as clean as possible. So I, we'll clean it out with a uh, hoof pick and then we'll use a rotary drill on the bottom of the foot. We're going to do a perimeter pour of the sole and we'll leave the frog exposed. But the first thing we're going to do, this mare's got a little deviation in her, in her leg, so we trim her accordingly. As Tab mentioned, we do this on our horses that we're uh, putting into boots or endurance horses, but I've also done it on some horses that just needed a bit of help. They just were a little thin sole. Rude mares in the third trimester. Any more rest, please. But if you look here, we've got a lot of depth of foot between the, the, uh, the distance between the apex of the frog and where the, uh, the hoof wall is. So I'm gonna do, use the sole guard to to kind of fill about half of that depth in, and then we're going to trim over the top. I need a little piece of duct tape. So as you see that we've uh, we've cleaned up the bottom of the foot, we're going to use a heat gun on it, and then we're going to put this duct tape across the heel. So our heat gun is going to take the moisture out of the foot prep it up. These little, these little lines in the bottom of the foot, when you get those, those actually help to lock that material in, the sole guard material. So I don't mind seeing those little lines in the foot. Increases the surface area and the bonding capabilities of the sole guard. You'll have this last in the feet. Sometimes it may come out in three weeks. I've had it last in, in feet for eight or nine weeks. It's uh, excellent in use in combination with hoof boots. You just put the, uh, the foot right into a boot and you've kind of got a built-in pad for it. So we're ready to pour now. And it's important with this type of a pour that you uh, have the foot very level. It's gonna run wherever. So we're gonna go in here. Now I'm kind of arcing this out from the center. I want to pull it out to the walls. This is mimicking the contour of the natural sole. This mare's got a fairly good amount of depth to her foot. It's been about four or five weeks since she was trimmed. She's a competitive horse, has been shown barefoot through this last season. So 
So we're just mimicking the bottom of her foot. We've got a nice arc radiating out from the frog to the wall. We're gonna go ahead and let that set up and then we'll do our trim. All right, we've applied the material to the bottom of the foot. We use sole guard. Then I used my, my hand to sculpt this under the plastic. So we mimic the contour of the natural foot and then we covered it with the, the uh, plastic here. We let it cure for about 15 minutes and now the material is set up nice and firm. It's not going anywhere and I'm going to now trim the foot. If you'll watch, I'm going to actually approach this a little bit differently. So the angle of my nippers is not flat straight on like this, but I actually trim it a bit of an angle. And on this mare, she's a bit pigeon-toed, so I'm going to actually drop her medial toe just a little bit more than the lateral. So I did not trim anything out of the bottom of her sole, only removed material with the rotary wire brush. Now I'm trimming her, bringing her heels back to the widest point of her frog, and keeping this rasp away from your sole guard. You're going to sculpt the outer wall. And this is a good way for horses that you're going to boot up. We're going to put this mare back in a uh, Outback hot wide boot. Where's my boot? So if you're gonna leave the horse barefoot and not boot them, you're gonna use uh, at this point just a little bit of duct tape over the foot. If you're ready to boot them and send them home, you can just put your uh, your boot on the foot. She's ready to go. And this is really good for your endurance horses. Just gives them that added bit of stability and it, in combination with the boot, works really, really well. So this is a pretty unique way of seeing the sole guard application done. It's a pretty pretty good way to do it because you might have those shallow footed horses are kind of flat soled. Well now we can pour this pad in, whatever's sticking up, take it off. Now we've increased their sole depth. So this was this was a good thing for me to see. So I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you next time.